Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Alima and as you can tell from the title, I'm doing a Shop Your Closet for the 2022 Spring and Summer Trends. Um, so I thought it would be interesting to do this video because you don't always have to buy uh, the exact item or these exact things that you're seeing sort of like on the runways or in fashion magazines or on Instagram. So as you can see, I've got my reel on my side and we're just going to jump into the video. I will also be putting in clips of me wearing some of these outfits so you can see. So the first trend that I saw was, I guess I've just grouped it all together under sexy. So it's more like the cutouts, more like the bikini style tops. So everything that is pretty much sexy and uh, a bit like like showing a bit of skin that kind of thing so for me when I looked in my closet I had this dress um, I have this dress which absolutely fits into that so this is a cutout dress I will obviously put a clip where you can see it properly but it's a cutout dress it's like a bikini style cutout dress um, so it's like bikini style, I guess, like, <laughs> it's like a bikini style at the top and it's got cutouts on the sides, it's open back and it's got a slit at the back as well. So for me, this is pretty much hitting the sexy kind of trend. So again, I don't need to buy the exact things that are on the runway for me to kind of like play part or to kind of like dress up. For that particular trend so for me this is a good way of doing it the next trend that i want to talk about and that's co-ods so co-ods uh again i don't even know if this is a trend i mean like some of these trends i feel like it's just like oh it's a trend that's coming in but it's like at this point it's just what we wear on a day-to-day -day basis isn't it but cords are going to be quite big as well. So this for me could also count as a cord, but I've also got uh, the pieces I can show you for that bit. I also have this tie and die set, uh, which is a top and a skirt. And um, to me, that is like, it's literally like the perfect kind of cord. So you can either do cords in terms of like, as, a, as like a, a top and a shirt, or you could do a top and trousers, or you could do a top and a skirt. So again, as long as it's matching, you do not need to, you do not need to kind of like buy new things, you know. Basically cords are just matching, matching, matching pieces. So even like, I think you could even do a, like a cord, you could create on cords by having like a black top with black trousers. You don't actually have to buy things together to kind of like make a cord. So for example, with this one, this wasn't bought together as a set, but because the colors are so on point, like they match, I can just create my own cord. So I don't actually have to buy, you know, the same suit or the same top and trousers at the same time. You could literally mix stuff that you currently already have to create your own kind of cords, especially if you've got pieces that are of the same color schemes. So blacks are a good way to do it, grays are a good way to do it, beige is a good way to do it. <laughs> That's another way you can create your own outfits to fit into that trend. The other trend that is quite big at the moment, it's been big for a while, I mean since last year, is essentially the comeback of the platform shoe. <laughs> platform shoes are back, they're back, everyone is wearing them. From designer to high street, it's everywhere. So I actually do have a pair of some platform heels that look very much like the dupe of the YSL ones. It's not quite like the YSL ones, but when I look at my shoes, that's what I think of, so I'm gonna show you. So I've got two pairs. I've got a gold pair and a black pair, and essentially they look like this. So they're sort of like the ones that have um the knot at the front, they are, um, you know, buckle strap, they've got a buckle strap on your ankle, and obviously a thick platform and a block heel. This is the thing with trends, you know, sometimes things come in and go, like I, I used to own a lot of platform shoes like years ago and then obviously they were out of fashion no one was wearing them now they're coming back some of them are even coming back like as a square toe so this is just to say sometimes some of those pieces that you have they will come back so rather than um switching up your closet every single time that 
something is out of fashion just store it because you never know when they'll come back into fashion as you can see now platforms are everywhere and again, again you don't have to buy the very exact shoe um, that is trending as long as you know you could you could just you could be inspired by it you know it could be inspired by it you don't have to buy the exact thing but also the other trend that I saw is the preppy trend so more like the school uniform trend sorry why am I using my hands so much I don't know <laughs> so more like this school uniform kind of um, type of trend I I actually do like the preppy style I do like it you know and I've got two pieces in my closet that I think kind of fit that trend quite well and so the first one is this um, dress well it's actually yeah it's a dress uh, but it's like a shirt with a vest it's all one piece it's all together even it's like I'm a student so that's one way to do it and I just like that it's all together I don't have to worry about having a shirt and having a vest and obviously you can create this look with like a shirt and a vest um, but I just like that it's all one piece together the other way you could do it is also this way where again I've got um, it's a dress but it's a color block dress so you got the white collar and then you've got the brown arms and then you got the brown arms but again it still gives that whole vibe of school uniform college kid kind of thing so this is another way that you could do it but again when I was buying these pieces I was I didn't buy them for the trends just happened to be in my closet and they also just happened to fit into that preppy category so this is again something like you could look into your closet see what's in there and like i'm saying if you do have a white shirt and a vest you can literally put that together and you will be creating the preppy uh school uniform kind of look so the other thing that i saw that is going to be on trend or in fashion of the spring summer was draping so it was like draped draped dresses draped tops um draped skirts that kind of thing um i don't really have that many pieces that are draped but i do have something in my closet that kind of fits that trend so i have this skirt um it is it's got some Okay, you see it when I'm wearing it, but it is draped, um, and I really like it. And honestly, when I got it, I only got it because I, I liked the look of it. I didn't, again, I didn't buy this thinking it's going to be in style. But like I'm saying, a lot of these things, sometimes you'll be surprised what you can find in your closet. So it's, again, to me, if I feel like I want to look as if, you know, I know what's trending and I'm fashionable, I can wear this, style it up, and it would look like... You know I just bought it <laughs> for this season but I didn't I was already in my closet so um, this is like um, so again look in your closet you'll be surprised what you will find so the other trend that I'm seeing a lot is um, pleats now I love pleats I love pleated dresses I love pleated skirts I used to have a lot of long midi pleated skirts which I no longer own because you know things do get old the more you use them but again, I was thinking, there's no way I don't have anything that's pleated at all in my closet. So again, I looked at my closet and lo and behold, I do still have one item that's pleated. But it's quite short. So it is this skirt. Uh, it's a short mini skirt that I got maybe two years ago from ASOS. Uh, and it is pleated. You might not be able to see it, but it is a pleated skirt. I think you can you see it when I'm wearing it. But I also feel like this can actually fall into the whole preppy trend as well because it is kind of like a, a tennis skirt kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I really do like it as well. But honestly, this is actually maybe <laughs> this actually just made me realize I do need to get um, another meaty pleated skirt into my wardrobe. So you know, sometimes yeah, you can. I guess this is the whole point of, um, sometimes this is the whole point of, the whole point of this video is that you can shop your closet and not necessarily need to buy certain pieces because you already 
have something similar or something that fits into that trend but also it can also make you realize that you might really like a particular trend and you actually don't have those pieces in your closet so those are the things that you should probably buy so likewise for me I've realized I don't have any meaty pleated skirts anymore in my closet but because it's a trend that I like and not just as a trend but even outside of it being a trend it's a piece of clothing that I like I now know that I need to purchase that and have that in my closet and this is another way I always think it's a good way to really look through your closet see what you've got and see what you're missing and then if it's something that you really really do like and it's a trend that you think you will wear past beyond being a trend then by all means go ahead and buy it and that is what i'm going to do because i do like the skirts the other trends that i've been seeing everywhere is color colors 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 and not just like your normal everyday colors it's more like highlighter colors you know the neon greens the blues the yellows the oranges the really bright in your face kind of colors Personally, I don't like color. <laughs> I don't like color. I don't wear color a lot. Um, when I do wear color, it's within the red family. So what I'm going to show you is a red dress. So if I do feel like I want to be a bit more colorful, I would probably opt for something like this. Now, as you can see, this is still quite a bright red color. Um, so for those days when I do feel like, oh, you know what, the sun is shining, I want to look like a highlighter, I can opt for something like this, you know, and that's a way of playing into the trend. I don't necessarily have to buy neon green because I don't like neon green and it's not my color and it's not something that I would feel comfortable wearing or feel comfortable styling, but something like this, I would absolutely feel comfortable. So again, it's just to say that just because something is trending it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out and buy that exact same thing especially if it's not a color that you love personally you know if there is a color that you love maybe you love pinks maybe you like oranges you know maybe you like yellows i don't know go for the thing that you like you know you don't have to buy the color that is everywhere you know i know what i've seen green everywhere and i'm tired of seeing green everywhere i could never buy anything green actually saying that do i have anything green i don't think so <laughs> but i'm seeing everyone just like buying neon green stuff and it's literally everywhere and it's doing my head in um and i'm not gonna buy into that just because it's everywhere that's not my thing but hey if i feel like i want to add a bit of color to my outfit this is what I would opt for. So get to go for something that you're more comfortable with. Uh, the other trend that I've also seen pretty much everywhere is maxi. Maxi everything, okay? Maxi dresses, maxi skirts. No, I love a maxi, okay? I don't remember, I love a maxi. I, you know, I love minis, I love maxis, I love midis. I don't really, I'm not that selective. <laughs> But yeah, maxis are going to be everywhere if they're not everywhere already. Um, and I have quite a lot of maxi stuff in my order. But the thing I'm going to show you, this dress. Oh my gosh, like this dress is so long, okay. It's like black and sleek and it's just long sleeved and it's, it's gorgeous, okay. It is gorgeous. And I know you're probably thinking, who wants to wear a long sleeve? black maxi in summer well i do for one because <laughs> this is quite lightweight uh it's not it's very lightweight it's breathable it's not hot you know so again you know look in your closet see what you've got i always think maxis look absolutely amazing in summer okay you know how people are always like oh it's time to bring out the maxis dresses and the sand dresses you know this is the time we have to do it i think if it's something that's more um Fun fitting, it looks really nice. Uh, it can also be loose fitting as well, you know, that can also look nice. Again, just dress up for what you're comfortable with. But yeah, I really, really love this dress. And um, yeah, that's a way to kind of play into the trend. Um, and I think a lot of people tend to do a lot of like maxi dresses and like florals and stuff. But you don't necessarily have to be wearing florals if you're not into that. I 
I mean, I don't mind florals, but I don't even have a boxy dress that's a floral. But I absolutely love this dress. So I'm gonna wear the heck out of it. So I don't know how many trends I have shared with you uh, so far, but I try to look, there's so many, okay. I think when I was looking, trying to create for this video, there were more than 10. So I just tried to focus on the ones that I knew I could, I well, the ones that I knew I liked and also the ones that I knew that I was more likely to wear. Uh, so last but not least, the trend I'm gonna talk about uh, to finish off this video is prints. Okay, prints, I love prints, okay. I feel like prints are my colors. So prints are, for me, the way to be a bit more bold, the way for me to be a bit more out there and to just kind of challenge myself in terms of putting my outfits together. So I love, I love prints, okay. So I'm gonna show you a couple of options of how you can incorporate this strand into your wardrobe. And I bet you, you already have something that is printed in your closet that you could wear to kind of like, you know, take part in the trend. So I've got, so the first, the first print should not come as a surprise because I'm literally obsessed with this print. I've been wearing it like crazy. I've got it in tops, I've got it in trousers, I've got it in shoes, like this print, I'm obsessed. It is the zebra print. <laughs> so I've got this top. I also have a pair of trousers in this print. I'm just obsessed, okay? And I've got a pair of shoes. I also have it as a boot, <laughs> as you can see. I just love, I love, okay? I'm in love. I'm in love. You're gonna see me wearing this print and you're gonna get tired of seeing me wearing this print. I've got it in a hat as well. Should I grab that? You, you see, you see, I'll put a big chair. I've got it in a hat as well. So I'm literally obsessed. So you kind of like go that route or you could go for the classic, which is the leopard print. Um, the leopard print, you know, Whenever people talk about animal print, you automatically think of the leopard print. That's another way you could incorporate this trend into your wardrobe. Um, you know, you probably do have something that is leopard printed. <laughs> you probably have something that's like uh, a leopard print uh, in your closet. You could also do a very totally different print altogether. So I have, I hope, is this picking it up? Yeah, so again, I have this one, which is more of like a neutral subtle print, but it's basically like chain details. Um, and it's a shirt dress. I love shirt dresses. So again, that's another way you could incorporate some prints into your closet. It doesn't have to be as loud as this. It can also be quite uh, subtle and neutral as this as well. So yeah, uh, this is probably my favorite, my favorite trend. Okay, this is definitely my favorite trend. I've got so many printed items. I could literally just make a whole video about prints because <laughs> I just love it. You could do snake print as well. I do have something. If you really snake print, as you can see, gorgeous again, sort of like a neutral beigey brown uh, and black print. So, this is another way you could do it. But I also have leopard print again, but in a pair of trousers. So, here you go. And I've got a couple of other like prints, you know, like random different ones. So, this is literally my favorite trend of all time like literally i just love i love prints um so yeah you just look in your closet you'd be surprised what you got in there um but i hope you guys like this video uh please do comment like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next one bye